Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, like I mentioned in, I think it was the first video, um, I mentioned that Sonny Rollins was the one who got me into jazz when I saw him. Uh, he was uh, to receive the Polar Music Prize in Stockholm in 2007. And I, um, they showed a black and white uh, uh, concert from, I think, I think it was Nalan. I think I said in a previous video it was Söder Teatern, but maybe it was Nalan here in Stockholm. Classic place uh, for jazz mus musicians to play. Um, and uh, they sh the concert was uh, from there, uh, black and white uh, live. And um, it was uh, just a, a trio, Sonny and uh, Henry Grimes on double bass and Joe Harris on drums. Um, and uh, it was, I was uh, I got hooked uh, pretty bad uh, on that, and uh, I've loved uh, jazz ever since. And uh, so Son Sonny Rollins is um, uh, pretty special to me. And uh, I thought I'd show um, an album uh, from him uh, today, and uh, it's this one. Tenor Madness on Prestige, um, original uh, pressing, um, and uh, it's not maybe my favorite uh, Sony album, uh, but um, it's uh, it's great nonetheless. And uh, the cool thing about this is, uh, or the special thing about this is that uh, uh, it uh, featured uh, Young Coltrane. Uh, on tenor as well on the title track. Um, he only plays that one track though. Uh, but uh, the rest of the group is uh, consisting of uh, the Miles, the classic Miles quintet of that era, uh, with um, Red Garland on piano, Paul Chambers on double bass, and Philly Joe Jones on the drums. So uh, it was it's a great band uh, that's backing uh, Sonny, and of course Coltrane then. Um, he plays with Sonny on the title track, which is an historic event. It was the only time, uh, only known recording of uh, both of these um, saxophone greats uh, playing together on the same tune. Um, so I can highly recommend this album. Uh, it's uh, It also features uh, the first track on the second side. It's uh, called Paul's Pal. It's a uh, sonic composition. Um, um dedicated to Paul Chambers and uh, they played that tune on the, that concert I mentioned uh, the black and white concert and I got the really hooked on jazz uh, they put play that tune so that tune is uh, uh, close to my heart um, and that is featured on this album which is makes it uh, all the more special to me um, regarding first pressing details for this one um, it's uh, New York City labels, the fireworks, yellow fireworks label, and uh, the New York City labels, uh, and um, RVG. Uh, I think it, it's etched on this one, uh, and uh, it also features uh, what one can call a flat edge. Um, it's not maybe that pronounced a flat edge as um, on the uh, on the blue notes, uh, maybe, and also for prestige, it's, it's not that critical, maybe, because it was so random. Um, it's not like on on the blue notes in the fifteen hundred series. Uh, it was a uh, it was a point where the flat edge uh, ceased to exist. But on on prestige, there is. Uh, there's more this totally random uh, so I don't think the flat uh, edge uh, rim the flat rim could um, be considered a, a determined factor for uh, identifying the first pressing for the C show but uh, nonetheless it's uh, I guess as flat ed as flat as an edge can be on the prestige on a prestige album um, 
yeah and then uh, yeah deep groove on both sides of course so that's the first pressing details and uh, it's the right uh, address on the back cover and so on um, and uh, laminated cover as well um, yeah so that's the the details on this uh, title but uh, for the music it's uh, it's uh, it's an awesome album uh, like i said not my favorite uh, sony album but uh, it's a very very good album um and he made some great albums so yeah um please let me know in the comments if you like uh, what you think of, of this album maybe or if you have any questions regarding first pressing details or um, what you think of Sonny Rollins in general, maybe. So uh, thanks for um, uh, watching and uh, i see you next time. Uh, cheers, everybody.